the maid of honor and the best man. Oh, yeah. Ba -ba 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 I am Dave, I'm Aaron's brother, I'm Rachel's brother-in-law, your girl, I'm your girl. Um, and so I was given, a, I was told to give a toast, I will cheat and give two. Uh, first I would like to give a toast to the parents, uh, Mr. and my, Mrs. Diomede, mom and dad. Um, so much hard work and sacrifice went into uh, not just making today a great success, um, but just raising killer kids, awesome, awesome kids, um, who we are all delighted to be here to celebrate. Um, so let's make a toast to the parents. Um, to the sacrifice, to the hard work, here's to you. Enough to gather. Enough to Um So I was I was honored when Aaron asked me to be his best man because it means he has forgiven me for the time I put him in a dryer and turned it on. Um, we we used to fight all the time. Uh, Aaron was a especially sensitive guy. Um, and he, he would kind of, he plays music, as I'm sure many of you know. He'd be spending his time in the basement quietly playing this music. Um, and often the way these fights would start would be me coming down and just provoking him. Just going at him, teasing him, uh, until he finally snapped. And then he'd run at me and he would bite me. Uh, he always bit. <laughs> um, Aaron loved to bite. I don't know if he still does. Rachel, maybe you can tell us that. <laughs> um, but I, I have watched Aaron um, just, we've become very close. And I've watched him grow and, and become uh, an incredibly strong man. So I have just two, two very short stories. Um, the first one is the first moment that stands out to me, uh, seeing his uh, sensitivity and his strength. Um, so I had, this must, this was like three years ago. I had just finished college. I had started my first job. Um, and I was on this business trip. My first job was horrible. It was just a terrible, terrible job. Uh, I had a brutal boss and I was on this business trip out of the country. And I had been trying to hold it in and be tough and learn about first jobs and I just have to push through. Uh, and I couldn't, and I just broke down uh, with Aaron um, on a Skype call while I was in the UK, and Aaron was up uh, in Boston at Gordon in the middle of finals. This was a crazy busy week. So I already felt grateful that he would spend this evening on Skype with me, just hearing me cry, hearing me process all of this. Um, and it was cathartic, and I, I felt better. I finished the trip, and I flew home to see my parents, just expecting a short weekend in Philadelphia, uh, about six hours south of Boston, uh, with my parents before going back uh, to work. So I get home um, on, it's like late on a Friday night, uh, and Aaron is there. In the middle of his finals week, um, he just comes out, he's laughing like he was tonight, he gives me this big hug, um, and hands me this package of letters uh, that he had collected. So what he had done was after I broke down with him uh, on Skype, he proceeded to go around our campus, find everyone who had some connection with me, uh, ask them to write letters of encouragement, uh, collected them, and then drove down in the middle of finals week just to spend like two nights with me uh, before going back and finishing his test, which is incredible. Um, so, <laughs> so that was the first moment I saw his strength. Um, 
And then the second uh, story. <laughs> Sorry, mom and dad. Um, second story of his strength uh, was the night he. Uh, well, I'll bury the lead. So, uh, it was my birthday dinner. This was right after Aaron and Rachel had started dating. Uh, and the four of us went out for dinner. It was uh, Aaron and me and uh, my mom and dad. And uh, great dinner. And my mom, those of you who know my mom know how she does this. So she plays it cool. She's very hip, right? So she can stand. She's like, so Aaron, there's this girl. And her name's Rachel, and we've heard so many great things, and, you know, how's it going? And Aaron is clearly overjoyed um, in ways that I, I had never seen before. Um, and uh, he starts telling us about her. She's really happy. Oh, she's, so, she's so funny. She's so strong. Like, we, here's how we met. Here's what we like to do together. Just this great story. Um, and my mom's like, whoa, okay, all right, that's cool. Um, so, so like, sounds like you really like her. And Aaron's like, I love her. Just total strength. And my mom, you know, you ask scary questions, you get scary answers. So <laughs> my mom's like, what, what was that? And he's like, I, I am in love with her. Um, like she is the one. And I have never, ever, um, you know, that's not like what he is, but I, I've never seen uh, such strength from Aaron, um, Rachel, the way he talks about you, through, like throughout the whole process, um, from that dinner. <laughs> from that dinner, uh, yeah, I mean throughout. So I, I actually, I don't, I don't live uh, in the states. I actually, I live in China. Um, and I, I have missed most of their relationship up close, and I regret that. Um, but every uh, every call I have with Aaron, <laughs> oh man, uh, every call I have with Aaron, he's just so in love. Um, clearly thrilled. Clearly thrilled. We are thrilled. Bless you, young man. Bless you, young man. Be blessed. Be blessed. Um, we are we are so thrilled. Um, and Rachel, you bring out that strength in Aaron because that's who you are. Hey, you are such a strong woman. Um, the sass. I love the sass. And I love that you can take it and you can dish it, and it's wonderful. Um, and yeah, I'm I'm honored to be your brother-in-law. And I'm really, really looking forward to everything that is to come. So, cheers to the couple, to their love, to their future, all that. Cheers. Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. That was very touching.